Hello my fellow smug ones. Well, if you could put a massive kick in the balls into writing, then this letter would probably be it. Let's begin. Okay, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Sam for sending this letter in. Here is your well-deserved legend badge. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, as usual, it starts off with the legal occupier, which means they've got no clue who lives there and are probably reaching out to you to find that out. Next in the top right, we've got their logo. Below that, of course, we have their reference number and you know what I think about that. Then the date, September 2021, and in big bold letters, we are increasing the number of enforcement visits in London. Which probably just means they hired an extra person to have the doors closed on them, I'm guessing. Below that, in red this time, so they want to make it stand out for you, you do not have a TV license at this address. Well, yeah, I know that. That's how come I save £13 or around £160 a year, isn't it? Which, in my opinion, I can do a lot of better things with it. Anyway, right now, our enforcement officers, or salespeople as I like to call them, are increasing the number of visits they make to unlicensed homes like yours in, I'm guessing that's the postcode there. So, if you're breaking the law by watching TV illegally, there's now even more chance of being caught. But of course, if you're not, then you've got nothing to worry about, have you? Then, in big, bold letters, in your area, in your street and on your doorstep. Well, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to visit me without being in my area, wouldn't it? Although, to be honest with you, that part there seems quite intimidating, in my opinion, and would probably panic quite a lot of people, especially the elderly. Here's what you can expect to happen next. Number one in bold, first, we will visit you. Well, first, I'd say no, thank you, and close the door, but anyway, your address has now been passed to an enforcement officer to visit and check if you're watching live TV without being covered by a TV license. And this just shows the amount of distrust they have in people, doesn't it? Next, in bold again, two, we can interview you. Well, thanks, but no thanks. If I wanted to be interviewed, I'd be interviewed by someone like Jonathan Ross. So I think I'll pass that up. If they find evidence of law breaking, your statement will be taken under caution. Which sounds actually quite scary, doesn't it? And in my opinion, kind of implies that they've got the same powers as the police. And whilst I've heard that other companies can actually caution you, they do not have the same powers as the, as the police and they are not the police. And of course, in bold again, number three, then if we think you're breaking the law, we can prosecute, yes, because I'm guessing who needs evidence, eh? You should know there is a 93% conviction rate for licence fee evasion cases determined by the courts in England and Wales. And there's one of those tiny little asterisks which says criminal justice statistics, December 2019, and in brackets, Ministry of Justice. So they're not even using the current up-to-date figures, are they? Which probably means it's a lot less than 93% now, I'm guessing. Then we have their usual sort of frightening statement. Up to a £1,000 fine if you're found guilty of watching TV illegally. But obviously, nothing if you're not. On top of any fines, you will still have to buy a TV licence to watch or record any live TV or to watch BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer at this address. Now, I've got two things to say about this. Number one, I've heard that that £1,000 fine is rarely given out and instead fines are a lot lower, usually apparently around the £170 mark, which is just a little bit more than the current TV licence. And number two, I'm pretty sure the amount of people who are watching, or indeed recording live TV, is getting less and less by the day, especially with the amount of catch-up services and streaming apps like Netflix and Now TV and things like that. And if that wasn't enough for them to frighten you even more, I'm guessing, they've made a little stamp, bang, enforcement, visit approved. London, UK, with a little squiggly signature. Well, to be honest with you, if that's what they want to do, that's fine. I don't mind making a little poo emoji stamp to send back to them. Then, of course, we have a big red box. The law says in red and in bold, you need to be covered by a TV license to watch or record programmes as they're being shown on TV, on any channel or TV service, or download or watch any BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer. You have said this literally in the sentence above this box, haven't you? Enforcement officers are now active in London, which I'm guessing probably means they turned up for work. And oh look, after all their threats, please buy a TV licence, please. Or tell us you don't need one. Call, and it gives the phone number and the web address. And the only time I would call or visit that is to cancel the TV licence. That was quite a disgraceful letter in my opinion and would probably have frightened quite a lot of people, especially the elderly. And there was no need for that. 
TV license and need to understand that their days are numbered, don't they? Especially with the amount of streaming services about. And that day is coming and probably will be around about 2027, I'm guessing, when the TV license Royal Charter protection ends. YouTube's algorithm thinks you'd like to see one of these videos next, so let me know if it's right.